Hey, this is Jeff Valliere here with the new Speed Goat 5. Uh, this is the newest iteration of the ever popular Speed Goat series. Um, Hoka had the Speed Goat 4, which they didn't update for a couple of years. It was just such a hit. I think they didn't want to fool around with perfection um, until now, where they came up with the Speed Goat 5. <clears throat> this is basically like the Evo Speed Goat and the old Speed Goat, the Speed Goat 4, got together and produced this here, the Speed Goat 5. It's basically um, rebuilt from the ground up. We've got uh, a new, not a new midsole, but it's the same midsole material as the Evo Speed Goat. Uh, it's a little lighter contributing to a significant weight loss with the Speed Goat 5. Uh, in my size 10 US, it has dropped a full ounce. Um, so it used to be 11 and a quarter ounces in my size 10 in the, in the fourth iteration. And then now the Speed Goat 5 is now 10 and a quarter ounces. It's a significant difference. You can feel that reduced weight on your foot. Um, it's a little quicker, more responsive. Part of that's the, the weight drop, but also this, um, this carryover midsole, um, the lighter CM EVA Evo midsole compound. Um, so it's lighter, more responsive, uh, has a really quick turnover. Um, they've also made a bunch of other changes too. Um, starting with the outsole, it looks very similar to the traditional Speed Goat design. <clears throat> but what they've done is they've taken these lugs and they've put all these little kind of notches on them and they're stepped, they're kind of tiered. So they have a little bit more surface area and a little bit more grip. Additionally, there's a new upper here. So if you look at the Speed Goat 4, you can see all these overlays. Um, these are really effective and give good foothold, um, but it is a little bit stiffer. Uh, with this new design, it's a new jacquard knit constructed upper. Um, so they removed some of these overlays and it's a nice, it's a nice double layer kind of woven mesh that uh, it allows a little bit more stretch. Uh, I wouldn't even say stretch, whereas this matrix upper of the Evo Speed Goat did have a lot of stretch and thus a, a really compromised foothold in my, in my opinion. Um, but with the Speed Goat 5 here, you still have a little bit more give. It doesn't feel as confined. I wouldn't say the shoe is any wider but this is a lot more forgiving. And <clears throat> like the Evo Speed Goat, you've got this, um, this dynamic vamp that has a little bit of stretch to it. So they've included that with the Speed Goat 5. So there's a nice little bit of stretch in here. Um, I would say this shoe is uh, much more accommodating than the previous model. Um, like I said, not really wider, but this has a lot more give to it than the, than the Speed Goat 4. Um, but it's very, very secure. Um, I ran pretty fast through some steep, rocky technical terrain. And my foot wasn't going anywhere. Um, you can also see that they redesigned the heel collar and the heel counter. Um, it has quite the significant protrusion here, which I haven't found helps or hurts. Kind of looks cool, I guess. Um, and I have, it does give very good heel hold, but I noticed I had to employ this furthest back um, lace eyelet here to give uh, better security. When I first tried it without doing that, I was getting <clears throat> just a little bit of heel lift. Um, and I did some A-B side-by-side tests. Uh, first, the side-by-side -side with the Speed Goat 4. Um, you could definitely feel a weight difference. The Speed Goat 4, it, it rolls nice, but it's a little bit more stiff and firm, I think. The stack height is the same. Um, 
but just that added ounce of weight you can feel and the uh, midsole is not as plush or responsive as the um, the new midsole here in the speed goat 5 so um, in addition there's there's the the fit as well this speed goat 4 feels a little bit more i wouldn't say confining I know that that's a common complaint is people found this to be too tapered and narrow whereas the speed goat 5 has a little bit more compliance and stretch to it which i think is going to accommodate a lot more uh, a lot more sizes and shapes of feet and preferences for uh, especially for longer distance which is what a shoe like this is made for um, you can see it's got a nice flexible but ample toe bumper around the front nice little ran there um, the laces are thin it laces up really nice um, so yeah basically um, we've got a really good lockdown on, on the upper um, and then comparing side by side with the speedgo evo uh, there is really no comparison here um, the Speedgo Evo felt a little bit more mushy to me, kind of soft and mushy, whereas um, the newer Speedgo 5 feels a little bit more firm. I think it sits right in between the Evo Speedgo and the Speedgo 4. So it's not quite as stiff as the 4, but more stiff than the Evo. Um, anyways, more to come here at Road Trail Run. Thanks. And that's not all in the category, as we also have the Tecton X releasing later towards summer. It is $200. It has one millimeter more stack, weighs three to four tenths of an ounce less, as it has supercritical foam. It has the Vibra Mega Grip outsole and dual carbon parallel plates. So it's quite flexible, and it is also quite a shoe. We have an initial impressions review here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great run.